so swear I. To unify this continent and end this terrible age of war. Knights of Norgard, will you now follow me to this future? Yes, my lord. I, your loyal servant, Palamides, would jump through fire and water. end that up here let's get the norgard stuff back on back on track uh but i'll just check out the domain here real quick and uh so as far as my plan is concerned um i think i'm basically just gonna knock out the empire and i wish i could just use vinard's team the whole way but i'm gonna have to use another team for it. so let's go ahead and try that 
So I think we're going to come in here like this. I can kind of like push them into a corner and stuff. So I think that's pretty much the best way to do it just off the start. I still have my main team here. So yeah, this is my, basically my main team right here. I think at some point we'll get the other rock going, you know, but uh, that's going to take a little bit of time to get there. So this is what we got, you know, this is what we got to work with. And so Hector hopefully is going to get all the way up, you know, to level 30 before the end of this. But I do have to do a different uh, attack here just so I can secure th some things because uh, if I can take this over with this team, then it means that this team can easily come over here and then that uh, my northern team here, my Gwingland team, can knock out Fatal pretty easily. So, if Escalio does try to do some play and uh, fight up here on, Fat, on Fado, you know, they could. But uh, we'll see if that even happens. I'm not sure that will happen, but they could. I mean, they did. They have been fighting a little bit, but let's go ahead and do the attack here. Okay, good. On the first attack. That's great. That's fantastic. Oh, man. So, we're going to finish up this Garus tonight. Pretty sure I'll be able to, unless I get hit on defense all over the board, which I am not sure that's going to happen. I hope it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, anything could happen. Because last time, that well, basically last night, it was quite a stream because there were so much defensive battles I had to do. And I wish I could have made more offensive battles. I think I had at least three. But still, it, it just took so long to get into, uh, you know, to get into play. But uh, welcome everybody to the stream. This is the Norgard LP. We're going to be knocking the Empire out. I think for some reason my YouTube uh, stream name says Carly and Crumble Styles. Changing that to Ending of Scars, but um, it didn't get changed over. So I'll, I'll change it after the end of the stream. So it'll look, you know. So if you're watching this later, you won't notice anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how's it going, Valkos? What's going on? So also, I have to check tonight about the uh, the Castlevania release, because I think it might actually be tonight. If it's tonight, I might have to play it tonight. But if it's tomorrow, then I'll play it tomorrow. But I really want to play Simply the Night pretty much as soon as it pops out. So, you know, uh, how you be, how I be, I'd be pretty good. I just need to get a drink. I'm a My throat's a little dry, so I just need to get a drink so I can, uh, you know, bellow out all the musical tones that I usually do when I'm... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just need a drink, though. Because I'm a little thirsty, but... Let's see here. Should I push it? I don't know. You know what? This isn't such a bad idea. Let's pop him into the mountain place here. And we got our nice little salamander right there, which is really good. And so I think we'll put him right there. I think somebody's trying to either knock him on the wall or they're hanging a picture. Somebody's trying to uh, put stucco up on their wall by hand, or uh, someone's irritated. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know if you can even hear it. If you can hear it, then it must be loud enough. But I might have to see to it. I don't know. Anyways, let's get on with this battle here. Okay. Yeah, good luck trying to hit Paul Mighty's. He's a good dude. I don't think you're going to get a lot of chances for that. Whoa. Yeah, sometimes I hear that. It's very rare. It's very rare that I hear pounding on the wall. If it was an SOS, then I'd know it was an SOS, but if it just... Do, 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 I don't You know, I guess you're trying to nail something up or... Like pounding on a wall. I don't know. If I get into music, I'll tap to music. But ah. 
Alright, well if it's their turn, I'm gonna go get a drink here, because I got some time. I shall be back in 20 seconds. So yeah, how's everybody doing today? If you want to let me know, go ahead. I am... I am listening. I've <laughs> been watching too much Frasier lately. <laughs> I want to watch some other shows, but I'm kind of that binger kind of person. I like to watch a show all the way through to the end, and the thing has, what, 11 seasons, 22 episodes, or like half... Well, they're only 20 minutes apiece, but still, that's that's a lot. I'm only like a little more than halfway through it right now. I got a I got a ways to go. Yep. All uh, right. Let's see. What are we gonna do here today? Let's go. Let's line up for this. Line up for that. Um, hmm. Okay. We'll go right there. That'll be a good space. Alright, okay, so we gotta get the Hydra in here. He's gotta get down there. I have to... Should I, though? I mean, well... Well, if he hits a lane, that could be a really bad thing, so... You know what, I think we'll... I think we'll have to... We'll have to plug this hole. I think that's pretty important. But, um... Yep, we'll plug the hole. Do some magic, spread out the magic love on all the enemies. Break them down. Okay. I'll mind these heals up a little bit. Kador, you want to come out and play, dude? I wasn't expecting them to stay. I kinda wasn't. I was thinking they were gonna run. <laughs> Those intense thoughts. <laughs> Which thoughts? You know? When I'm deep in my thinky thoughts? Or, or, or what is it? You know? Ooh. Fenrir 2 is stone. Good stuff, good stuff. Paul Meaties, Paul Mighties, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Definitely do it. This should be an interesting fight, though, if he really wants to stay. Because so far, I've got all the luck in the world right now. This is amazing. The love thoughts just described. Oh, the love thoughts. Wait, when did I describe love thoughts? Um. <laughs> Alright, we got a uh, nice griffin over here. I don't know if Ghidorah's gonna come in here. I mean, he could try. But, you know, my griffin's... My griffin could try to take him down, but there's so much magic and stuff back here. It's not wise. As much as I want to, to come in here and do this, I just don't think this is a wise course. I don't think this is a wise decision. I think I'll go here, attack the Wyvern, get that going just like that, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Not super ideal, but Paul Mighty's could definitely smack him up a little bit. Okay, who do we need to protect? Well... I think Paul Mighty's would be... Hmm. I think Paul Mighty's probably needs it the most, especially with a heal, a self-heal. He'll take so much less damage, I won't have to heal him up at all. I could leave him right there. 
and pretty much get away with murder. So I think we'll go in that direction. This guy. This guy right here. and pans around before they start cooking on the wall. Maybe shaking it out, airing the room. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, I can't really breath anybody here. It doesn't, doesn't serve a purpose, so I'll just do that. Let's go bite him up a little bit. I think the salamander has good, good chance. It's kind of cool. I get to use... The, I get to use Duomeki Salamander in this LP and the next one. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of fun. Should I Divine Ray him? I probably should. I think so. Yeah, I don't know why I shouldn't. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Can we get you out into play? Well, get you up and around. Let's put you up and over there. Uh, let's put... Let's put you right here. Try attack. I can slide attack my my angular breath at this point. So what you having tonight, Valkos? What's what's everybody having? Are you having a supper right now? Is it supper time? See, for me, it's like way past supper. You know, if I'm gonna eat, you know, it's gonna be a lot later after this. Uh, but I try to eat earlier. But also, I've been trying to like mostly eat like a lunch and then. If I have like a late night snack, that kind of works. I have to have something. I gotta have two things a very light lunch and then a very, very light supper. I don't eat like three times a day anymore. It's it's just. I, I'm not hungry three times a day. I'm just not. Uh, pretty much not at all. I don't know why. I'm just. I don't know. Chicken and rice. Well, that's actually uh, pretty light probably good. You know. I was thinking about having Chinese today, but I didn't have Chinese. I went out for fish. But having this craving for fish lately. So much fish. It's nuts. I'm eating so much fish. Okay, let's bomb this little dude. Road bull, use your magic. Do your magical thing there, buddy. Let's get this going. Yeah, we'll get rid of this Fenrir. Did you put any garnish in it? Did you... How'd you make it? Just, is it just chicken and rice? Did you just... You just were like... Ah, I got chicken and rice. That's all I got. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I guess it sort of depends. I mean, if you like a lot of cod, that's pretty cheap. You know, but if you like things like walleye or perch or something like that, you're gonna be, you know, shelling out some money for that. But, uh, I do like fish. I do like fish a lot. But I can see what you're saying, though. I mean, even if you go to, like, McDonald's for their fish fillet, that's pretty expensive all on its own. And that's, that's just ground up fish that they, you know, pack into a little, little breaded square and then they deep fry it, you know. And that's expensive, too. Oh, I should have breath attacked. Oh, I did breath attack. What am I saying? There we go. Do it again. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of fish lately. How much healthier is fish for you than uh, hamburger meat? I always wanted to know that. I heard that it is, but I don't know, like, what's the, like, is it consistency? Is it, is it the, the meat is, is thinner? It's more digestible? Is it? Is it filled with more vitamins? I mean, what's what's the scoop on that? I believe it though. I think it's I think some of the fatty acids it has 
you know, has some health benefits to it, but, uh, like, I don't know comparatively how much better they are, you know, versus each other. A crit hit, no stone. Oh, man. Oh, I did plenty with it. Uh, seasoned rice with salt and pepper with oregano? Hey, that's pretty good. Chicken was marinated in salsa and cooked with red, green, orange, and yellow peppers. Wow, man, you go for all the colors of the rainbow on that one. That's pretty cool. I don't typically do yellow peppers too much. No. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't like it. It's not that I don't like it. Usually I get red or orange or green. I barely ever get the yellow ones. So... Season with salt, pepper, cumin. Hey, hey, I got you on that. <laughs> Remember I told you I was putting cumin in my, in my coffee? That is a definite pick-me-up. It actually has some good benefits to it, too. You know, pepper, garlic, and other things I'm forgetting at the moment. Wow. You just took the you just took your whole seasoning board and just, and just dumped it you and know, just sprinkled it with everything. <laughs> it would give it a lot of flavor, no doubt. You know, you're getting a lot of flavor out of that, that's for sure. I mean, I do that sometimes, too. Like, if uh, I make certain uh, meals and stuff, I try to put as much flavor in it that I... All the flavors that I like, I put them all in there. Uh, but sometimes, like, I can't do... Uh, some foods I'll do garlic in, but I can't do garlic in a lot of them. And I tried... I told you, like, the one time I didn't make that mistake before. I put some garlic in my cough. I was grabbing for the spice, for the cumin, and I, had, and I got the garlic instead. I put and I just put some in there. I'm thinking, oh wait a second, I have no idea how this is gonna taste. It didn't taste so bad, but man, the zing, it woke me up like that. It was like having a habanero pepper, you know. But you combine an accelerant with another. Uh, I don't know if garlic is in it. garlic probably is an accelerant. But man, did that clear up my nasal pad? It was like eat, having horseradish sauce. You know, it was like having, eating the horseradish, just straight. It was like, you know, the whole lungs start breathing immediately. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that much. It didn't taste terrible, but it wasn't like, yeah, you know, it wasn't something you want to do again too often, you know. And from what I heard about, um, I can't remember where I heard it, but I've heard that garlic is sort of a medicinal thing. It's not necessarily something you want to have a lot of, a lot of the time. But, you know. Yup. Teaspoon of each. No cinnamon, though. Oh, no cinnamon, really? I could see how cinnamon would sort of mess up the flavor of that, though. Cinnamon might actually mess up that flavor. Because if you put cinnamon in there, and you have all the other spices in there, you'll kind of taste the other spices, but cinnamon will, like, stand out. Cinnamon is like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You always know about that reindeer, and you forget the rest. You know, it's just... It's just it stands out, you know, because it's so tasty. Alright, what do we got to do? Uh, we got... Uh, well, I could try to burn him down with more breath attacks. Oh, I do have this flame attack on her. That was a bad call. And I can come forward and punch her, too. That was another bad call. Oh my gosh, do I have some good stuff I can do here. You know, I could, uh... I almost really want to just breath attack through because I get a double hit on Soleil and I might be able to kill him this way. Can I get that far? One, two, three, four. It's not five. Or is it five? No, it's not five, it's four. Yeah, that's right. Dang it. Oh, I could have I could have had something set up there, but oh well. <laughs> I would never consider to add cinnamon. Cinnamon is great in certain recipes, but definitely. I would say if you have oregano, you've got, um, what is it, thyme, you have, what are some of the other ones I have? Um, I have to go look, actually, well, let me go look for it real quick.
Okay, well, I like parsley. I've got uh, tarragon and chai or um, chives, and I also have pumpkin pie too. I've got pumpkin pie as a spice. I love it. Pumpkin pie as a spice is actually for what you know my tastes are. I love to put it on fish and bake it. Put it on the fish and bake it. Bake the bake the fish in the oven. Pumpkin pie spice. To me, it tastes pretty good. I like that. I don't have any basil though. No, I don't have any basil. Uh, I'd have to go and out and get some, I guess. And you know what? I think really, I think I should just stick to the Genos right now, because there's there's a good amount right here. I might as well just do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, they do. They sell pumpkin pie spice. You know, at Maybe it's a more of a northern thing, I'm not sure, but uh, pumpkin pie spice is, uh, well, it's pretty good. If, if you like pumpkin pie, you'll love pumpkin pie spice. But I think, you know, putting it, letting it bake on a fish in the oven is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you could do cinnamon too if you like, but I think pumpkin pie is a little subtler. It doesn't, it doesn't explode with uh, too much taste like cinnamon does. And I love cinnamon, but I think it's kind of better on that. Oh my gosh, she's low. Or it's low. What am I saying? She's low. It's low. I guess I have to stay here. I can't move right now. She can't get hit. I can't let her get hit. That's not a good idea. Hmm. Dude, they have... At my store right next to me, they have like a whole... It's like a whole three shelves worth of spice. I couldn't even see it all. It's an amazing amount of spice. <laughs> you can buy... I think you can buy almost any spice you can imagine. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I think my rack has seen better days. I think he will see better days. You know, the fact is, this is the team that I fought like one time with, I think. One or two times. Maybe it was just one time. I think I fought one time with this team and I never was able to use it again. So they might stay. They might stay the whole 10 yards. Who knows? Let's see. 160. Oh, well, I guess I could try. Go oh, yeah. Definitely. I can call my up there. Uh, let's see. So I still have Protect on, I think. Yep. Well, if that's the case... Oh, I can't get there now. Oh, you know what? I might be able to take her out. Might be able to do that. We're gonna burn it all down. And I think the Griffin's gonna go and take a shot. So, Vakos, have you seen any uh, current Halloween movies? Whoa! Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, yeah, I can't. Too, man. Rock's gonna die anyways. Rock's can't, you know. You can do a Geno Flame at this point, which you probably will. Centaur Shot, it's gone. Even with Protect, I can't do it. I haven't caught up with 
with men, with any. Mom watched the new Hotel Tomb, so it's pretty funny. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those at all. I don't know how any of them are. Really. Ooh, gosh, she's, uh, she's, she's got my name, I think, maybe. Okay, well, I don't want to get blasted with magic. If she was low enough to retreat, then I would probably punch, but she's not low enough right now. I really can't do it. Two hit points, man, come on. All right, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna bathe them in acid. And that's that. Yeah, I want to see the Halloween movie. You know, the Mike Myers Halloween movie? So I want to go see that. I saw, what was the other one? What was the other one called? It was based on the, uh, it was based on the Annabelle movie, I think. Or is, was it called Omen, or... Oh, man, what was it? I don't know. It starts off with um, this nun going to a nunnery. Well, I don't know if that's the right way to call it. Maybe that's not the right way to call it. But she's going to a nun... Burry. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> you know how, like, brothers have an abbey and the nuns have... Oh, a convent. She's going to a convent. Nunnery. <laughs> I think that's... That might be the wrong description for it. But she's going to a convent, and uh, she's going to stay there, obviously, you know. And uh, it's haunted, you know, by this demon that was trapped there long, long ago. Uh, by the guy that owned the castle. And so, it was actually pretty cool. It was more of an action than it was like a ghost movie, but it, it still held up pretty good. I liked it. See here, should I just bomb him for fun? Just to get experience with Road Bull? I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea. Mm, not sure. Yeah, it was pretty decent. I mean, I don't watch too many horrors. I'll watch like maybe one or two that come out. I don't go watch every single one that comes out. There's there's plenty of other ones that come out too. Uh, when I was a teenager, I'd, I'd see more of that, but you know. Now I'm mostly action comedy movies, but uh, I do like I do like the Halloween theme. I do still cherish Halloween. You know, growing up, one of my favorite things dressed up dress up as was death. You know, that was always kind of fun. Very intimidating. <laughs> it was fun just to do it. Let's see, can I come over here? Ooh, I can. How about I just do this and smack him? Yes, I should. Yeah, I'm full up. Why not? Get an easy level with him. Kador could come up and attack him. That could, that could be a thing. But I do have a divine ray for him if he wants to. So I've got stuff waiting in the wings for him. Yay! Good job, Road Bull. So bad. Can we get a poison? Can we get a poison too? Thank you! Yes, very good. Very, very good. Oh, really? You could have healed yourself up, dude. What are you doing? Hold on. It's level 6. Okay, level 30, level 1, Welp. Hmm. Well, if I want to kill it, I might have to sacrifice it, because a straight-up attack on him would be better. Then an ice attack would be even better, too. So if I lose the rock, I'll just buy something else here, I guess. Oh, I'm not really into this, but this could work. She does have Frost Spell left, so let's 
gonna focus on that. Hydro will probably give an insanely good hit. Oh, what are you talking about? He had a little sliver of health left. Do you see that little, little notch? <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright, here, now I can uh, freezing spiral. Hopefully this is like 200 plus. That'll make things so much easier. Or I could just totally miss. That would be awesome too. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh man. I was so sure I was going to get that hit. So sure. Okay, well, I can't kill him, so... Guess we'll just do this. But anyways, we got the battle. I'll just have to replace it with one thing. I'm not too worried about this team too much. This team's actually not so bad. With a Salamander in the wings, it's really hard to lose a battle like this. It's very, very hard. Because the Salamander basically is the uh, the queen of the team here. She's my queen on the chessboard. It's kind of hard to lose with that. Alright. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Paul Muddy's at 16. Good. Good stuff. Well, if I do get a whole cr uh, class change, then I, I'm going to have to get something else instead of the rock. So we'll, we'll see what we got to get, you know? We'll see what's out there. Okay, Jamfer's quest. Okay, so he gets a punch and... Icy Fog Robe. That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. We'll take that. We shall take that. Billcock. Hopefully you can get uh, whatever you're going for. There's a big hole you want to stick your hand into. Yes? Yes? No. Ah. Oh. He gets diseased. Come on, that's Langoborg's job, that Billcock. Okay. Alright, so let's check out the map real quick. Have to take out the Empire, so I'm basically going to take my Binder team, go straight for the heart, take out Lagres, and we'll see if they, you know, Scali wants to attack Fado. They could attack Fado. Probably could. But, um. Let's check this out here. Put you back to Berserker. I think. Nope. 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 Ninjas are coming. <laughs> At some point, dude. <laughs> it probably will be. Wizards are coming. That's what we're doing right now. That's what I was thinking. Something has to class up here. I know something has to class up. <laughs> Rubble could be a fighter. Just not gonna do that. We're not doing that today. Not going to be a thing. You are going to turn into a mage, you're gonna wear green and be proud. Alright, let's organize a few things. Let's set up a lane with something really cool. in here somehow. I guess that's the best I can do. I don't think I can uh, maneuver anything else here. This just replaces with that, and that doesn't change anything right now, so... Okay, so I do have some extra points, which is pretty good. Let's see here, that would be another... Uh, that would be another 70... No, that'd be 80 points right there. Yeah, yeah, we can get 80 points. Nope, oh, not that. 
Okay, so 80 points. I could go high, but I've already got a lot of high level things here. I think if we're gonna do 80 points, well, I could do four scorpions, or I could do a couple hellhounds, but you know what? Just to make the army a little bit bigger, let's go with four scorpions. That should work. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can get some ninjas uh, of Valkos. We'll see. I think it's very plausible because once I beat the Empire, it's just me and Escalio. So Escalio is either going to get Kazan or Saraha. So I'll get the other one. So I'm, you know, I'm good there. And you all know how much I love my scorpions. Okay, this is a pack team. I feel pretty confident with that. That's nice. Uh, what, what item? Okay, so blue resist up. Defense, good. Okay, good. Let's try it out on my main team, see if we can do it. Ooh, he can. Well, you know, you know what? This is not a bad call. He'll defend from blue. He'll have better intelligence. He'll be blue. This is perfect. Okay. All right, good stuff. I didn't get an item, did I? No. Okay, we are on the move. Nothing can stop us now. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Okay, Zemeckis, what do you got? Whatever you got, man. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, I got a bunch of other... Oh, I should have quested some. Well, you know, if I lose some stuff, the fall will be able to come down there. I... No, I do need a defensive team here, so we'll just send Lufal down. No, Chantel too. Why not? Then I won't remember to quest him, so I don't forget the dude. Okay, looks good. think we are set to go. Let's rock and roll. We're going to be finishing it up here pretty soon. We're <laughs> pushing things up. Well, Escalio is going to take a little while, that's for sure. That's definitely for sure. But this is going to be a really tough battle, needless to say. A very tough battle. Because I have to try to keep all my stuff alive while I've got some mecha shooting me from the back row. And, uh, yeah. Oh, definitely about this, definitely. It's gone tonight, that's for sure. Unless they attack me on defense, like, all over the place, it'll definitely be done tonight. There's no way I can't. There's no way I can fail that. <laughs> Unless Zemeckis plays a really good, you know, plays his hand really well here. Unless he does. This is really his last for, you know, huzzah. Because the next one's going to be probably a lot easier for me to break through. Because if I beat this, it's a very good chance he's going to have to force a treat. He's going to have to lose some monsters. He's going to have to give up monsters. Because in this one, you just lose the monsters. You don't, like, it doesn't, like, put you in the orange or anything like that. You just lose it. And if he has a big enough army still, he's just going to lose. He's going to lose his ass. Yeah, that's just the way it's going to go. Which he does seem to have a decent, stable army, so he might still have just as much over there. But once I knock this out, he's going to have to literally just get rid of things just to maintain it. I think that's one thing that they didn't fully flesh out. And I think that's why I like want to say this is sort of a beta, because they didn't flesh that out enough. Because the second one, the Grand Edition version, they literally made it so that, you know, you would just lose hit points. You know, if you couldn't, you know, maintain the room. In this one, you just lose the whole monster. Now, there are some special cases where you lose the monster, too. Like, uh, Vakos got that one monster. You know, because it was a force retreat, but it was a force retreat through enemy territory. It just... 
he couldn't maintain the mana anymore, and he had to force a tree through it, and I think what it does is it captures the monster with the most amount of room, and just deposit it in the stock for somebody else that can actually handle it. I think that's exactly what happened. It seems like that did happen a couple times. So... But yeah. spot. I think the... If I can get around here, I'm going to take out Esbury. I'm going to work out better. So that's sort of my plan. I'm going to go... I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some snacks. Haha, <laughs> inside. Alright, I'm going to go get a snack. I'll be right back. Coming in. Yeah, they are. This could this will be a little rough, considering the fact that Zemeckis will probably be way in the back when I've got these other guys to deal with first. So hopefully he won't kill off my whole pixie group. Which he probably could, because you know how powerful the dude is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, nice. I need I'm gonna need every kind of boon I can, because he's got a very good team here. He can cleanse that up, he can uh, do a bunch of range, he's got a bunch of tanks, he's got himself, you know, as Marie, she can do Holy Word. I gotta find a way. Gotta find a way in. I think I should go and attack with my Phoenix if I can get it down there. I almost think that's probably the best call. I'm kind of thinking it might be the best call because if I can take her out now, it just makes everything so much easier. But this is unfortunate. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's Lord versus Lord. I thought he was going to take down the Pixie. You could literally strike him down in one shot if he wants to, I think. Oh man, I don't even have a tech spell on right now. You really need one too. I'm wondering if I can even get in there now. Can I? Well... Okay, Bert. You're holding up my line, dude. You're holding up my line. You gotta hold up the line. Unless I get an easy, you know, attack with, on Esmeri. You gotta hold the line, buddy. You really need to, man. Oh, 
Okay, finally I get to go. Nope. Can't even get around. Alright, should I do an airy heal here? I know it might seem silly, but with the damage I just took on Biner. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? Well, a centaur shot, a breath attack. But another attack would really kill me in so many ways. I'm almost thinking it's a good idea. So I'd heal up this rock, I'd heal up this rock. How much do I have? I think I can definitely do a couple Geno Frost, I think, right? Yes, I can. Okay, so I could wait to do a, a double Geno Frost, which probably would behoove me to do that, you know? Yeah, 3-3-2. Three, three, so I probably could wait to do a double Genofrost and burn it all off at one time and get an insane amount of damage going immediately. Or I could do just a couple Frost spells, but I really can't hit Zemeckis too much right now. I could do a Curse and I could do a Frost and that's about it. Probably some Center Shots to mix it in there. But with all the healing in the background, I don't know... I'm thinking I should probably kill off some monsters. I think that's really my, my key thing I need to work on right now. You know? So... I think if we... I think if we take out the giant, then I'll be able to move a lot of stuff down here. Be able to knock her out. And worry about other things. So... I could do an airy heal. I'll heal the dragon. Don't have to worry about the dragon too much. But... I don't need it right at the moment. I should do an attack and then do the area heal. Okay, let's do that. Because I'd love to kill Lidoroff to lower down the amount of stuff that they have for this team, because they'll still stay. I'm pretty sure they'll still stay, even with just, you know, Zemeckis and Soliel. Soliel has tons of room. Zemeckis has tons of room. They have tons of monsters left. I don't think they'll run, even if I take her out. But taking her out would just make everything so much easier right now. Okay, can I get you down there? I can. Ooh, that's what I need to do. Alright, so I'm going to pull you down here. You'll replace him. You're coming down to the bottom. Or wait a second. I wonder if I should heal you just to trickle heal you before you go. Because you've got no other heals coming to you at any more time. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. Finer does need a heal. I need a slap and protect on him. Okay. I think that's probably a good thing. What do you think, Val? Do you think you'd do a heal right now? Or do you, you, you think you'd wait? I don't know. I don't know what you would think about this. I just figure with this attack and no protect spells on Finer right now. I just, I don't know. It's only four hit points, but I can't heal him up if he's down there. So he'll never get it any other time. have a low centaur, take him out, high centaurs, work on his marine. And I think I got, is it Ector ready? Or no, Dillard's ready. Oh, Ector is ready. What am I talking about? Yeah, he's ready to go down there. Oh, 
doing this, but I'm gonna have him wait right now. Could do Geno Frost and melt that thing away. That could definitely happen. But let's see here. 27, 19. I do go next, so I don't have to burn it right now. We're just gonna hold up here. to react to him a bunch of times to have him do a bunch of attacks, but... I mean, I suppose I could, but I do need protect spells on Binary right now. I sort of need to do a... I need to react for Binary. with Ector, and I could curse this thing. Ooh, that would give me a kill. Yes, I might as well. Then I could attack the dragon. Okay, okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. First of all, let us do a protect spell on Ector. I'm going to try my workout with Ector on battles that don't include Zemeckis. This is almost too critical for me to, you know, not get right. So... We'll kind of go this way. We'll do it like this. So, I could have went for Zemeckis. Just has to be a still. Oh, I could do weakness too. I haven't really thought about using this too much, but this is definitely a thing I can do. And. Well, it is in the front. She won't even... Be, well, if I kill her, she won't even be here. Can I get around? Well, not, not 100%. I can go here, though. Which might be a little bit better, because I don't want to be too close to the front lines right here. Spot. Let's go ahead and go here. Do the attack. I'll do the weaken next time. Maybe, possibly. One sixty-three. Good stuff. Good stuff. got a protect spell on. I think we're gonna need one on... Well, Bert doesn't really need it too bad. Nobody has a frost spell to really hurt him. I think he might. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? Dillard's gonna need a react spell. Yes, he's gonna definitely need it, because he needs to go twice. We need to get her out of the playing field. 100%. We really do. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Then I'll pop protect on him so he's okay in the front lines. Okay, 
good stuff. Right there. Great. Let's see how much this naturally does. I'll try to calculate my uh, centaur shots based on this here. Oh, okay, critical attack. That's a totally different scale. I don't know. 211. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That will work out great. Dink! 15 points of damage. Level 20. Here we go. There we go. Is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go there. Yeah, how y'all doing? How's everybody doing? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty le pretty relaxed tonight. Got everything I needed to get done. Don't have any homework, nothing like that at all. This should take care of it. Got things fixed, got things worked on. So, yeah. I think he can take it out. I think he can do it. I got faith in the dude. Okay, so he's level 20. I could do it now. Well, I she. Oh, no, he's never gonna get 1600 points off her. He could get 1000, I think, but I don't think he's gonna get 1600 points. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see 1600 points come out of this. Sorry, Esmeri, but you got to go. You got to go, babe. You gotta go. You gotta go and you gotta go. A thousand. Good. Okay. Cool. on the centaur here. Gonna have to reposition and stuff. I'm pretty sure they'll still stay. I'd be it'd be insane if they didn't stay. Please accept this sandwich as a gesture of solidarity. I don't I don't think they're gonna leave. I really don't. Think back, Ghost. Do you want to gamble on that? <laughs> will they stay or will they go? Big Maddie. Big Maddie, get the super critical. Knock it out one shot. 171 hit points. Can you do it, man? Can you do it? Can you do it, bro? <laughs> Can you do it, bro? Oh, 111. They're a little shy. A little shy. Force retreat. Really? Okay. We lost one monster there. That's uh, that's good for me. And you took everything. Come on, man. You only gave me four monsters there. Was a glorious battle. This is working out pretty well. Last night, oh man, the struggle was real. Very real. Finally threw me a bag of magus here. Escalio invaded Fado. Oh my gosh, are they gonna win? They won. Escalio beat the Empire. Two countries. We're down to two countries. It's that. Right, Jamfer. Thanks to the honey. Oh, the sweet, sweet honey. I missed that one. Oh, that was... Okay. Your Majesty Escalio has defeated Escaris. We have no time to relax. We must not let those who only see what's in front of them get in our way of unifying the continent. I agree with you. Majesty, there is a knight who would like to work for us. Shred! 
<laughs> Zemeckis might have been defeated for following the wrong path. However, I still believe in his value as a knight. I will continue to fight for him. That's the least I can do. Okay, Meltorphus. Esmeria, are you feeling any better? Yes, I think so. We've gone through a lot in the past, but it doesn't change the fact that you're the only sister I've got. Even though we defeated Ascaris, I don't want to have to treat you as a refugee. I would like you to consider becoming a knight for Norgard, and if you do, I'll be able to free you. Thank you, but it's okay the way it is. I'm tired of fighting, and I'm tired of being around people. I would like to live quietly by myself, and devote the rest of my life to praying for my husband, Zemeckis. Esmerie, are you saying that you're renouncing the world? I'm not asking you to fight, but I would like you to be near me. I'm sorry, Leonard. Esmerie, you must have really loved Zemeckis. No, it's not that. It was natural for me to become his wife under the circumstances. Zemeckis was not very good at expressing his true fe feelings, but he had a pure heart. I never learned to love him, but I know I'm the only one who understood him. If I forget about him, there would not be any proof that he was alive. I don't regret the way I have lived my life, even though I had no control. You're different from me. You have the power to change the world. Reinhardt, I want you to create a world where people's lives are not controlled by war. I know you can do it. As Marie. That's a little bit of a touching scene, but... That's... That was that! <laughs> the umpire's gone. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, I'm going to keep my push going tonight for a bit. Uh, we'll go for, <clears throat> I think, maybe two and a half hours or something like that. So, we'll go for another half an hour or so. I'm going to kick them out of the Empire's territory here. And we'll see what kind of progress we can make from there. But, we're this we're down to a, just Escalio now. So, it's Norgard and Escalio. So, if you want to start giving me some uh, challenges for the next Duomechia LP, now's the time. Uh, you can go on the website and uh, check out the forum post that I made. You can go and do it there if you want. Or you could just watch and watch the challenges other people give me and uh, just enjoy yourself. So, really, at this point, all I'm doing is fighter attacks. I'm going to send him down to Tora, send him up to Fado, pull back, move back around, zigzag through the whole thing, and hopefully we'll get Hector all the way up and finish it up. So, that's the plan. all go up. Except for I can't. I can't do much about that. And shreds on the team here. This guy's a beast. Ogre Knuckle. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Take that off you. I'm giving it to Dillard. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Everybody. It's time for champions. It is time. And I get an Ogre Knuckle to boot, too. Right off the bat. Dillard is going to be a freaking insanely powerful knight. Okay, uh, let's see which one. Well, he's already level 12. We might as well, might as well push him up here. So, I couldn't get the Empire. Escalio got the Empire. I was thinking it could happen. I wasn't positive, but it did happen, so that's the way that goes. Whoa! in here. We're going to take the rest of these knights and uh, go destroy Escalio. <laughs> okay, Dillard. We are getting something even better than the Icy Fog Rope. Ogre Knuckle. So against Driss and Irie, he's, he's going to be doing okay, but still. That's pretty awesome. Okay, cool. Wait a second. Okay, so I got... Yeah. No, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do. All 
All right, cool. That's all there is. Let's go ahead and attack. Save it up. Oh, be rocking and rolling. Awesome. We'll knock this out the park and, uh, Easy stroll. Dillard is a champion with the ogre knuckle. Oh, yes. Thank you for bringing your best. You're going to need it. <laughs> Aldous is here. Drist is here. Ira is here. You do need to bring your best, that's for sure. here because he has a he has a good amount of stuff still you know where's everybody at where's big maddie where's drake Unseal? seal where's everybody else where's nick nick you you gave me some challenges i haven't seen you in the longest time nick where'd you, where'd you go nick and where's akuna Kuna didn't even uh, wasn't even there at the end of when I was playing Escalio. At least I didn't I didn't hear from him. I don't know. Maybe I should go on strike until Hakuna shows up. You think I should? Go on strike? No more Brigandine until Hakuna shows back up. <sighs> or Nick. Or even Dragoon Seal. I don't know what you guys think. Should I strike it? That's a lot of dangerous stuff. He's got a lot of healers. He's got protect. He's got range. This is a great team. It's almost comparable to mine. He's got the heals. I got the protect. Oh, man. Okay. I think we'll... I think we'll start up over here. Okay. Yep, that starts it up.
Oh, Drist is right there. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ooh. This will be interesting. Where, where is he at? Oh. Well, he could get cleansed from there. Oh, he'll have enough unicorns to cleanse him, though. Yeah, he can get a cleanse. I can't, really. I can't take him out right now. What won't happen. Not as a stone fool. Man, if they were only just right next to him, that would be so much easier. Also got the black orb, too. You know what? I'd have to... Well, well, he is all black. I'm, I'm not going to be able to hurt him so much with either of these guys, actually. So, we shoot him with the centaurs, but he's got... 150 defense. I don't see this happening. I could try? I mean, I could definitely try. I don't know. If he wasn't stoned, I think it would definitely work. I think I'll probably just focus on killing off what's in front here, and then I'll get a frost spell on him in the end. I think that's the way to do it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Mm. And now, we eat cookies! Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's that damn good, dude. <laughs> You know, plus I got the Ogre Knuckle too, so 348. He's that damn good. I love having champions, I gotta say. I love the extra critical percent because it just makes it critical so much more. They just do so much more damage and they get more experience off of it. It's just such a good boon. It's such an awesome thing. I love champions in LOF. Favorite thing. <laughs> Three stone tyrants this year. Wait, did you get a stone tyrant in your LP or something? Because you're still on the Escali one right now. Did you get that? Are you getting some bad luck with that? I'm sorry if you are, but I'm just wondering. You did too? Oh man. I think you got stone the other time, but remember? Was it last night or was it the night before? I think maybe it was probably, probably last night, but... We're not... <laughs> Drist is getting boned in so many ways, that's not good for him. Oh man, you know what? I, I think I should just focus on the monsters right now, because I don't see taking out Drist very well. My leaders can't do that much damage to him. I mean, well they will, but it's Black Orb attacking Black Orb, so it'll be minus. A certain percentage, and even with all the criticals and stuff, he's turned to stone. He, you know, he's pretty much unkillable right now until they cleanse him. So I'm gonna wait for that other center to cleanse him up, and then might be able to do something here. Come on, big Matty, big money, big money, big Matty, big money. <laughs> you stoned him. <laughs> oh, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. That sucks. Ninety one. Which one's better? Maybe this one. I'll take away his heels. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. 
I read through that too quickly. I thought you were I thought you were saying a scalio. Really quick glance. I thought you meant the scalio, but oh. Okay, that makes sense. no point shooting him. He's too stoned for me to kill him right now. That's not going to work. He has to not be stoned in order for me to kill him. Not be stoned, Drist. I will throw you a bone. Yeah, I got Soliel. I did get Soliel. You know, I'm just too crowded to do any serious damage on him. I could have him, I could react and attack him a couple times. But I can't get the Pixies in here to help me do more reacts. I could do two here. But he's gonna get healed up and he'll get cleansed up too. So I think I'll just go with one, reposition the pixie so we got you know better positioning next time. Do that, protect spell, come down there, pop a shot on Driss. And we'll see how we can get going from there. But if he wants to stay there, that'll be a lot of fun for me. Let's see what Hector can do with the Night Sword. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So he could do like 150 on Driss, probably naturally. Alright, well we can't get him below 300, because then he'll heal him up from, them, from there. So I'm going to actually get my Pixies in, in order, do a bunch of reacts. Hector's going to do all the attacks to kill off Driss. So, that'll be a lot of fun. Level 21. Well, hopefully this will work out right. I wanted him over here because then I could do... One, two, three pixies in a row for more reacts, but then I'm getting divine raid too, so. Oh, yikes. I guess. I guess I'll move the turkey. Oh, that's a better idea. I'll move the turkey out of the way, put Hector in its place, and that should be fine. That should pretty much finish it off then. Then we'll be good there. Because Hector can move up, then I can get more React spells going. It should work out. I think it should work out. Yeah, I think it should work out. Oh, big matter. Okay, I can't hurt him anymore. That would not be good.
I like all the possibilities I got here. Take it. Let's see here. 27, 20, 23. Did she leave? Oh, she's right there. Okay. She might go. This is a lot of damage I'm pushing into her. Definitely is. I think I could probably get a frost kill with this, though without having to use the rock for something else. But I do need to get him in there, too. Let's see, number three is... Okay, her. So, she can't do much else there. Alright, we'll do this. Viner will frost up that rock. We'll take the rack out, that should do it. <laughs> this is my night, this is my night. Yeah, I don't want him getting, I don't, I don't want him getting healed up right now. Let's just do a frost and kill off the dragon here. Stay. Play a little bit more. Stay a while. Okay, Dillard, you're up to bat. What you gonna do, bro? <laughs> what you gonna do? One seventy-eight. Uh, Drist, you can't really go anywhere, can you, man? I think he can. It's gonna be a perfect opportunity for Hector. One ninety-four. That was the wrong guy, but you get a consolation prize for that. You'll get to survive this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill up Trist. <laughs> So yeah, I do have to check out if Castlevania is tonight. If it's tonight and it's later on tonight, I'll be back on here playing that. Uh, I'll play a little bit tonight, maybe maybe more tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to see. But um, I 
Oh, he's higher now. That's right. Oh, boy. Ah, no matter what I do, I can't get them to react again. So I have four react spells. I could definitely get 100 each and every single time. So I think I should be good. Plus I have my normal turn, so... here. <laughs> Nectar just gets to put the smack down just right now. 99. Oh. I need more than that, man. Should I do a curse? I don't know. It depends. We'll just stick with the Night Sword for now. Maybe I'll pull off a critical. A critical would help me a lot more, but... Five. Okay, Hector. You're doing fantastic, man. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I think we'll do a curse to finish him off. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. gonna do it. it. It was almost pure and perfect for what I wanted to do, but... see if I can actually get this. We'll give this a shot. See if this can actually work. Oh, it didn't work. I thought it might work because her she's she's level 15, you know? Okay, let's try a curse. This should probably do it. This should probably finish this off. Let's see how good his magic is. It might be pretty decent. I don't know. I'm gonna say like a hundred times. <laughs> Such a trolly thing to do to Triss, but he he always takes it well. <laughs> oh, nice! Up to level 22. Get out of here, Drist. Get out of here, Escalio. proud of this team. I'm very proud of this team. Alright, well seeing as how everybody's so talkative, I'm gonna go and do one more battle and then I'm gonna check out some stuff on PlayStation see if uh, Castlevania is ready. So we'll see if that's ready tonight. If it's ready tonight then I'll come back out tonight and do it. Oh, did you get something? No, you didn't. Play the Borg. Just dancing with some maidens. That's all he's gonna do. That sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and quest everybody out who we don't need. Okay. 
Let's class some stuff up here. How far are we? 203. Oh, that's nice. That's very good. Uh, no, not Palmites. You need to stay. Uh, yep, you need to stay right there. I'm at 22 with him. I'm making some progress. Hold the phone. Wait, did we get the ant store? Did I get the ant swiller? I did get the ant swiller. I've got a white attack. Oh, that's going to help out so much. That's even better than that. Oh, yes. Yes, Ector. You shall have a white attack now. You can easily take down Drist or Iria. Easily. All by yourself, too. Oh, that is so cool. to you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me check out my other team that's not the best. I want to make sure that they have some pieces of equipment here. Well, I could give her back her ring of sorcery. Yep, let's do that. Blue defense up, defense up, good. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll go ahead and do that. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okie dokie. Okay, I need you guys to stay put. Execute the move. And attack. Let's do that. So I'm going to do one more tonight. And uh, if Castlevania is up tonight, I'll be back on. If not, it'll be on tomorrow. So... some serious progress tonight. This is really nice. This is really nice. Man, I gotta get a drink too. Okay. You know, I gotta get a drink. I'll be right back. 10, 17. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll be right back. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, thanks for the compliment. I think a lot of people just want to watch tonight. That's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I was just getting all used to all the conversation the other night. <laughs> so, so we'll do one more attack, and then we're gonna check out. Uh, we're gonna check out Castlevania tonight. Well, I'm gonna check out Castlevania tonight. See if it's working. If it is, I'll be on. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So. Go ahead and do it. Do it to it. <laughs> He's got a pretty strong team here. It's not crusty. It's definitely not crusty. No crusty teams waiting for me. I think we're probably going to see some more defensive battles in the future here, because 
they have a good amount of monsters. They have very high level monsters too. And so they're going to be attacking my weakest fronts probably almost all the time. You know, just in case I can actually do something, let's just keep them all set up the same way. Oh, wait a second. No, that won't work exactly. No, it wouldn't. That's true. I gotta keep them close to each other, though. That will be key. That will definitely be key. Sierra on their team. Ooh. That'll make it a little interesting. Let's see here. Um, I think it's time to start doing the air heal. The perfect way. me here? Is there anything here that can... I don't see it. I just, no, I don't really see anything coming after me right now. Okay, that's okay. We'll just push forward. Get a nice big airy heal going. Here we go. Now you gotta come after me. Now you got to. beginning of this LP with that challenge and it slowly turned around but we are where we're at today so that was a fun challenge it was definitely a fun challenge it was fun to try that I think the next ones the the new challenges I have will be a lot of fun too because there's a lot of interesting ones I mean not leveling up Lance until he's a king I mean I'm basically not using Lance at all until that point so that's going to be kind of hard, <laughs> you know? I think what I'll probably do with that is I'll... Yeah, I'm going to have a good team. I'm going to have a defensive team. Philia will probably be with him, or she'll be with my backup team. But I can only really make two teams off the start because of that. So what I'll probably end up doing is going out, helping out Carleon, knock out Escalio. Hopefully Carleon will come up and kind of help me out with the Empire. And if they do help me out with the Empire at that point, then I can probably set Lance on Logres and uh, have a good day when it comes to that. But I do need a good defensive, solid team to sit on Camel Ford, and I need a good offensive team. So I'm going to have to try to quest for some other knights and stuff. It's unfortunate, though, with leaving Lance until he becomes king is he can't quest. So that's the only problem right there. Other than that... You know. Uh, let's see here. So I can do a white orb attack. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's so interesting. She has a black spear. So she can do black damage. But she won't do too much damage to me. And I've got the ant swiller, so I'll do white damage, but I won't do too much damage to her because of that. Wow. Okay.
You know what? We'll just get him in place here. Uh, maybe I'll do one react spawn right here. Yeah, we'll just get one react. <sighs> Put a protect there. There's gonna be a holy word coming. Wooler time. Not too, not too shabby. That's pretty good. Looks like a lot of people are picking some of the polls here. I'm voting for some of the polls. So who do you think you'd win overall? Two people say Norgard. One person says Escaris right now. That is interesting. That's a really interesting question to have, you know? Uh, should I... Curse him? No, no, I think I'm okay. We'll curse him later. We'll do that later. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Thing out. We can't have him in the back one. That's not. That's no good. No good at all. Easy stuff. Should be fairly easy. All right, Big Maddie, you get to help Diller propel a little bit forward. Also, yeah, I was talking about the affiliate the other day. I think I might hold off on that for a while because you cannot be streaming two services at the same time. I know some people kind of do it, but, you know, if they can get away with it, I guess they can or do, but uh, I don't think I have that kind of luck. <laughs> I don't want to push that. So, you know, if you stream, uh, you know, to YouTube and Twitch or to Mixer and Twitch or to some other service, I think, um, what's the other, oh, I think it was Vimo, there's some other services and stuff, but if you try to stream to too many different services at the same time, 
and you're in the affiliate contract where I think I think you can only get bits when you're an affiliate so I think you get the uh, you know people can give you those uh, magical twitch bits or whatever they are uh, to you know like your stuff but uh, I think if you're doing both services at the same time and they find out they could delete your stuff so I'm gonna play safe and what I think I'll probably do here is once I finish this LP once we finish uh, the multiplayer because you know once I have some stuff set in stone as far as like when I can start things and do things you know I don't want to like you know discard my YouTube viewers in case they're really you know excited to watch on YouTube and stuff uh, I don't want to do that so what I'll end up probably doing is once I finish the LPs here because uh, the multiplayer is we're, we're getting close to finishing not super close but we're kind of close and I think with uh, some other stuff you know I might I don't know if I want to do Age of Mythology more on Twitch or YouTube or how I want to play that but I might introduce something new there as well you know but we'll see so it seems like there's a lot of people that like Twitch more and I'm kind of ooh, level 10 Mandrake you left me thank you that's really nice. I'll have to use that. But yeah, so the whole point is I can't really do that because if somebody is affiliated and they're streaming at two different services, uh, what I've read is that they could have their whole thing canceled. And so I don't want to get caught up in that. You know, other people have better luck to get away with some things like that. I don't. So I'm not going to worry about it. But, um,. I'll try to kill off a couple more things that they have, and then uh, I'm gonna call it right now. You know, nobody wants to say anything at all besides Valkos and Jack. That's the only two I've said anything this whole entire time. But I uh, hope everybody else was enjoying. You know, enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, hey, that's kind of cool. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I think I burnt out a lot of the people the other night. I wanted to watch an extra encore, but I was saying, I'll be on tonight, too. I'm on two nights in a row. So if you want to see more Brigadine and stuff, don't come on the nights that I'm not on and ask me to go to Brigadine, because that's uh, it's not accurate. <laughs> I'm on these two nights, and then I'm on Sunday night for the multiplayer. So you'll get to see me then. All the time. Let's do this here. So yeah, we'll finish this up, I'll leave you with a map, I'll say goodnight, and uh, next up is Castlevania. This whole weekend is going to be Castlevania stuff. I'm going to forego the uh, Age of Mythology this weekend for Castlevania, because I love to do some Halloween stuff on Halloween. Ooh, well that might kill it. I think that might kill it. Let's go ahead and do that. Good heal voice there. points. Here we go. Alright, if that doesn't do it, the other the other rock will definitely take care of the whole thing. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Perfect. Perfect. Yes! Now we got another rot. I got another phoenix. Got another phoenix. This is great. You know, if I do stone her, she will stay. But it will get cleansed, so... Ah, oh, well. Oh, let's just do this, then. Force 
treat. Thank you for the treat. I will take the unicorn. Victory is mine. Yes. Got a level 10 Mandrake. I'll put that on uh, Gwingolin's team. Gwingolin will probably have that. Looked around, strange flower. It kind of works. I'll do that. Okay, we gotta move everybody over. You know what? I'll just quest out Gwingolin for now. Yeah, I'll just quest everybody out. I'll leave my main team there, quest them out, and then we'll have uh, something come over there and defend it. So. Level 9 and a level... Wow. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we're... Okay, Gwingolin. Oh, that's right. I got the Triton here. So... Oh, boy. Well, I'll have to do that. Big man eater. You should be good. And now the finale shows us classing up this level 14 rock. Okay, we're gonna have Ernie here. That's for sure. That's positive. So that's really all there is today. That's all there is tonight. Um, I didn't get an encore to play anymore, and uh, everybody was just a, uh, an eyeball today. So hopefully you enjoyed visually. <laughs> I didn't get to talk to many people besides Val and Jack. Thank you for uh, conversations. It was always nice. Uh, let's check out the domain here real fast, and we'll close up shop. So that's all there is left. I think it's only going to be. Maybe three more episodes, maybe two. If people want to see more on the next week, uh, next week Wednesday. If you want to see more on next week Wednesday, we'll push really hard, and you know, if we if we actually make some good progress, we'll put them down to uh, they'll they'll be down to Brasiliande and Lettish Note. So if I can get six castle attacks next time, we'll give it a shot. I'm just not sure. I mean, I'm I'm sure there'll probably be some sort of defense somewhere. You know. Considering, you know, Drist's power and strength that he has right now. So, probably be some defenses. So, I'm, I'm thinking it's only going to be like a couple more streams. Maybe three at most. But, this is the time that you have to give me challenges for the next LP. You don't have any time to give me challenges for the next LP in the next LP anymore. 
not doing that anymore because it just messes everything up. So I already got a few challenges set. Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed uh, tonight. Hopefully, you know, um, you enjoy the challenges you've given to me. I uh, hope you have a great night. And uh, if if Castlevania's on, I'll be on tonight. If not, I'll be on tomorrow. So that's all I got to say. And uh, I will see you later for some more Castlevania. Well, the beginning, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I will see you on Sunday for more Brigadine in case you want to come by Sunday for Brigadine multiplayer. Got a really strong battle uh, coming up this Sunday. And so if you want to see more Brigadine, I'll see you then. Otherwise, have a great night. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching for SD Trigger. If you did enjoy this content, please leave a like, and if you want to join Team Trigger, please subscribe or follow me on Twitch. See you later, Space Cowboy. Would you do it for us?